Hey there, everybody. So in this video, I'm going to go and give you the top 15 Montreal Canadiens I didn't really like. So I just had done a video, I don't know if you watched it, but uh, my top 15 favorite Montreal Canadiens. So this is the total opposite, and these are the top 15 players that, not that I hated, but players I didn't like for whatever particular reason. And they may not have played many games when they were in a uniform, but they all played at least one game in a Montreal uniform, and um, I'll give you my reasons why for all of them. So we're going to start out with number 15, and if I get my pen, I can write it down. So number 15 is, now he was really a great player, and I loved his brother, and that is Peter Mahovlich. I don't know what it is. There was something about him. I always thought he was a bit of a goony player. I, I had that impression as a kid. And, that, and since then, and as adults, especially doing this, I've seen his numbers and all that. Now, this guy was a really good player. I didn't like him. I don't know why. Strange that I would like his brother so much, and I didn't really like him. And he really, really was a good player. A really big guy. Good a good second line center. Yeah, yeah, he could score. He can do a lot of things. But I just didn't like him. Next up, um, for this kid, I, I should say... For this one, I'm, I think I might feel more sorry for him that I didn't like him. But at the time, at the time, didn't like him. But I feel sorry for him today. And that's Jocelyn Thibault because, um, let me write down. Jocelyn Thibault didn't really have a chance here. And he wasn't a bad goalie. I'm not saying he, was, he wasn't a quality goalie like Patrick Waugh. But he was a decent goalie. And, I mean, we just never gave him a chance because he was traded for Patrick Waugh. There was no way we were going to like him, and that's just the way it is. Anytime you get a situation like that where you lose, it doesn't mean it has to be a goalie, but any positional player. But in a situation like what happened with Patrick Waugh, the guy that's replacing him, he hasn't got a chance in hell. And that's the situation here. But at the time, I did not like the guy because of that. We we wanted more from him, and I mean, he wasn't Patrick Waugh. So, but so today, like I said, I kind of feel more sorry for him than I hate him. But he's on the list. Um, next up is a guy. He didn't play here that long. Um, I think he went to. We traded him to Toronto, I think. And that's Mikhail Grabowski. Yeah. Um. The main reason I think I didn't like Grabowski is because I think he had an attitude where he thought he was better than he is. And he had this kind of, I guess, a hatred or a rivalry between him and um, Sergei Kostitsin and Andre Kostitsin. Not as much with Andre, more with Sergei. But there was something, because they were both, they were all three from Belarus, I believe, the Kostitsins are from. So they had some kind of a thing. And I don't know why Montreal would have drafted all of them when they probably should have known that they didn't like each other. But that was, I think, one of the reasons why I didn't like him. And, um, yeah, he just had an attitude and something like that. So next up is a player that came in here. He was with the New York Islanders, and he, he could score. He was a decent – he was a really a decent player. Came here and he did nothing. I mean nothing. He was so frustrating, and uh, because of that – I don't like the guy. He couldn't handle the pressure. I don't know what it was. Marius Tchaikovsky. Marius Tchaikovsky, um, I want to say he scored 30 goals for the Islanders. He was something like that. Came here, and he could do nothing here. And um, he only spent, I think, one season, maybe even less than a season. But he wasn't here long and didn't do anything, and he just didn't like him. Next up is a guy that was a decent hockey player and was a really nice guy. And I th the reason I don't like him is not really his fault, but we shouldn't. He shouldn't have ever played here in Montreal. He should have been. Uh, he shouldn't have been first pick overall. And that was Doug Wickenheiser. Oh, long name. Doug Wickenheiser, who's uh, rest in peace. He's uh, he passed away a number of years ago because of uh, I think cancer, something with his wrist, uh, cancer, I think something like that, bone cancer. It is a sad, tragic thing. Um, and I don't hate the guy by any means, but because he really wasn't the hockey player that Denny Savard was, and we should have picked Denny Savard, and it frustrated us for Wickenheiser, and really he paid the price for that year. And I feel bad for it, knowing that he didn't live a long life, and uh, to have to have gone through that for something that really wasn't his fault. Not his fault they picked him first overall. 
And uh, but still, in the end, I have to say, when he was here, didn't like him. And when he was here, we didn't know about the you know his health problems and all that. So, but he was a really nice guy. Other than that, next up was a tough guy that had been rumored to come here for a long time, or we wanted him here for a number of years because he's French from here. And when he got here, the reason we kind of wanted him here is because he's a tough guy, and we kind of needed that physical tough play, and he didn't really do anything. He wouldn't fight. He wouldn't do anything. Uh, so I, the rack, I mean, why would I didn't like him because of that. Now, we're, granted, he's retired and everything, and he just recovered from COVID-19, so I wish him the best, but I didn't like him when he was here because he did nothing. And he really, like, he refused to fight when he was here. That's what it seemed like when he was here. Next up is another goalie. Um, he backed up Patrick Law. He had a very funny nickname because he he probably was better than his nickname that we gave him would indicate. Andre Rasico. We used to call him Red Light Rasico. You know the light the red light goes on when they score. He wasn't Patrick Law. Um, but he was better than we, than we, I mean, he was a decent goalie, uh, but we thought he was horrible. Just we hated Rasico. Um, you know, when these guys get older and retire, you kind of feel bad for hating them. These guys, I mean, there's players you hate and you'll always hate, but these guys, you know, I kind of feel bad, but we didn't like them. Next guy up, I kind of, I, I really don't like him because of the Patrick O'Ha trade. When he was a player, I didn't really I didn't like him or dislike him, really. I guess I didn't really care about him that much. But it, because of what that happened, that'll tell you probably who he is. No, it's not Mario Trombley. I liked Mario Trombley when Mario Trombley played here. And that's um, Reggie Hull. Now, I put him up here. And you could say why, because you didn't really care either way when he was a player. That's true. And then why don't I hate Mario Trombley? Mario Trombley was a really good hockey player. He fought hard. He was physical, emotional. I liked him as a hockey player. So all that stuff, sure, it, it lessens it, but I, I couldn't put him on a board like this. Reggie Hull, I didn't really care about, didn't like either way. Um, kind of thought he was overrated, although he had decent numbers, but he was playing for a really good team. Um, and then uh, being the GM, a horrible GM, I, I don't like the guy at all. I don't respect him. Well, I, can, I think he's, I don't know. Horrible, horrible GM. Next up, he's a guy, came here, didn't play a lot. Um, I don't know if we signed him as a free agent. I can't say I've handled or we traded for him. I think it was a free agent signing offseason. And he was really good in Washington. Came here, couldn't play. Could not play. That's Alex Semin. Played, I think, 15 games here in Montreal, and um, they just told, I think, I think he's the guy that, at some point, they told us, like, just go home. Just go home. We don't want you here anymore. I, they didn't try to trade him. They just released him. Go, bye. Uh, what you call it? Bye, Felicia. Nice to know you. Uh, so, yeah, Alex Simon couldn't do anything. He had, like, two points, three points when he was here. He was a pretty good point producer. I want to say close to 100 points at, in Washington, but not here. Um, yeah, and because of that, yeah, how can you like a guy that's so frustrating that he comes here and he can't do anything, and it's just too frustrating. Next guy is another guy similar to that. Now, he didn't have the talent uh, that Semin had, um, but he was a first-round pick. He was supposed to come here. A bit of a reclamation project, I guess, but we were supposed to turn him around. And it just never worked out. And that's Benoit Pouliot. And I think one of the things I didn't like about him, I once saw him, I don't know for what it was, they were showing something where they were training, so they were wearing shorts. And this guy seemed to have legs that were so thin that I could not understand how he could be out skating with legs that small and take a hit and not just be like, just fly through the air. <laughs> um, but he was also one of those frustrating guys that never, never saw his talent here. You never saw it. I don't think in his whole career. But, yeah, so it was more, a lot of these guys, out of frustration, you grow to not like them, you know? Next up is a guy that's currently here, um, <laughs> Carl Alsner. 
But again, I don't really dislike the guy as a person. I just dislike the fact that he signed a huge contract and he never brought it to the table. And maybe he just never had it and it was a bad signing. And I, I, I definitely was a horrible signing when it was worse by Bergevin. But Alzner, we make fun of him all the time. So I don't like the guy. Um, but not, it's nothing personal. It's more of the contract and the cap hit that it, it makes us take. And he can't even play on the team. So, yeah, so that's, that's the reason. Next up, and I hope I'm not wrong on this, that this guy was a tough guy in other teams, and I don't know why Montreal traded for him. He didn't play a lot of games here, but I don't even know why he was even brought here in the first place. If I'm not mistaken, and if I am, please, because I didn't bother to delve into it, please let me know if I'm right or wrong about this guy. And that is, uh, what's his name again? Steve Ott. Steve Ott. I think we got him here, I want to say when Goche was the GM, but it may have been when Ganey was. Um, he was, I, I don't, never liked that guy. Why did they bring him here? He's a tough guy, couldn't play hockey, I don't know. So, like I said, I hope Steve Ott's the guy I'm thinking about. And if I'm wrong, please let me know in the comment section. Uh, next up, number three. Um, he's been in a few videos as the worst trade, as the worst, a lot of worst things. And uh, that's Scott Gomez. Scott Gomez was a player that I was actually happy to hear we got. And very quickly, by the end of the first season, it was kind of like, oh, I thought he was going to be better, but, I mean, the numbers were okay. And then very quickly after that next season, um, he was horrible for the rest of the time that he was here, and you just grew to hate him because he just could not produce anything. And the last season he was here, like nothing. Two goals, nine assists, I think, was his total. Horrible, horrible. And he never really recovered after leaving here. He played a few years elsewhere, but he just never recovered his um he I think he had he had some points. He eighty points one year, stuff like that. He he could he could score some points. Not here. Next up. Um we used to call him Breeze by. Uh that's Patrice. Patrice Brisebois. Now granted a long time have managed to stay here. Won a cup in '83, '93 with uh, with Montreal. Uh, but man, it just seemed like every he was like a pylon, and everyone just blew past him all the time. All his bad plays always stood out. Now he was probably a decent defenseman. I'm tainted to think back. Like I, I can't really judge him properly uh, because of that. But we hated him. We hated Brisbois. We really did. Now the next guy. If you watched my uh, video of the ones that I loved, um, when I was talking about Saku Koivu, the guy that injured Saku Koivu actually got traded here, and I was furious. And he didn't play a lot here, but he did play here. And that's Jim Cummins. Jim Cummins knocked out Patrick Waugh. And maybe didn't ruin his career because Pat, uh, not Pat Rock, Saku Koivu didn't ruin his career. Um, Saku played many years after that, but he was never the same as, I mean, he, he was on his way trending to be um, a top forward, like literally points wise and everything. He had 35 points that season in, I think it was only in the 20s, the games, like 20 games, 35 points. That's the pace he was scoring at. That's the player Saku Koivu could have been until he ran into this guy. The same night, some, there was two injuries that night. It was a horrible night for the Habs against, I believe, St. Louis. I think he was playing for St. Louis at the time. And I never forgot it. And then five, six, I forget how many years later, they acquire him. And it was like, what? Uh, was I, I was really pissed off when they acquired Jim Cummins. He really deserves that number one spot that I literally, I hate this guy because he ruined a great hockey player's total career. Like, he could have been even better. So that's it. That's it. That's my video. If you like it, give a thumbs up. If you disagree with anybody on there or if you have other players, I dropped my pen, that you like, that you didn't like, that you would put on this list, let me know in the comment section. 
Really appreciate that. I love to read my comments. And uh, while you're on the way down there, if you haven't subscribed already, please um, hit the subscribe and then ring the notifications bell. That's going to get you your daily fix of Blue Blonde Rouge right here at Talking Habs. And if anybody wants to join and become a member of the Talking Habs, there's that join button. Click on that. You see all the different levels and the perks you get for all that. And hopefully, so, hopefully you'll join and we can um, start having... Um, membership uh, live streams and all that kind of stuff that I'm going to do. So uh, that's down there as well. Thanks for watching. Everybody, please keep safe. Wash those hands often. Wear a mask when you go out. Uh, stay home as often as you can. And um, always when you're home, just watch uh, Talking Habs videos. There's lots of them to watch. Uh, and thanks for watching, everybody. Peace out. See you next video.